Hey everybody, y'all, it's one of those days, I didn't have a lunch today, I've just been discombobulated, I stopped at all this, this evening, I didn't take nothing out to cook, I did get, uh, a ma um, magically enough, I got a, a green tea zero to drink tonight, y'all. Magically enough, I didn't pick up a whole lot of stuff in the store because for one thing, they didn't have what I was going there for. I was going to get some of that popcorn shrimp and make a, a salad uh, with the popcorn shrimp like Tyler Bramey had on his channel, but they didn't have any of all this. About all the days you want something, they don't have it. So anyway, let me say my prayers and I'll finish telling y'all. Dear Lord, thank you for the food I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body in Christ name, amen. So needless to say, I was good and starving. I did get a pack of pork chops in there. And you'll see in a little haul. I'll upload that. But um, I'm like, I need something quick. I'm about to starve. So I had some beef smoked sausage down. And I just had some of those multicolored peppers in the package in the freezer. Part of that packet. And I just put them down in the skillet and browned them and with the peppers and onions. And this is, I had some frozen spinach. I said, I need some vegetables. So I had some more vegetables. So I had some frozen spinach. Just a little corner and a packet in the freezer. So I threw that down in a skillet and cooked three eggs with a scramble, three scramble, made a scramble and put some cheese on it. I said, I just need some quick, fast, and a hurry so I could eat. But anyway, that's enough of that about my issue. How y'all Wednesday going? I started out 2 and 1 and 19, child, with a vengeance. I've been so busy at work. And you know how you just be start the year? And you be saying, man, I need a vacation. Now, I got one coming up, but it's like, just hold on, just hold on. They say it's supposed to snow this weekend now. That's what my coworker was telling me. But, um, I don't know. But if it's the any drop of snow hit this ground, you know what Donna Anderson gonna be? Up in this house. So, as y'all know, somebody asked me, was I doing a 52 challenge again this year? The 52 week challenge this year? And I'm not. I'm doing something different this year. What I call this one I made up myself. It's the 25 by 6. If you all want to join me. And you don't have to do 25 by 6. I'm just choosing to do 25 by 6. I'll explain to you what it is. If you want to do the, you know... Five by six, or you know, if you want to start off with one by six, you know, basically what you do is, and I can't remember because I got the sheet I made at work and to, to mark off the numbers. I'm, but you take the the following denominations: ones, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, and a hundred. My goal is to save 25 of each one of those this year. And right now, I'm just trying to build back up my emergency fund because I told y'all, you know, with this government shutdown, it makes you think. But like I told y'all, I took my money last year and paid some debt down. But this is strictly for savings. So, and what you do, what I plan to do is save 25 ones. When I complete 25 ones, I'm going to move to the fives. I'll save 25 fives. I can't remember the exact amount, but it, that'll equal up. Then, you know, you get the drift. 25 tens, then 25 twenties, then 25 fifties. And as I get them, I might hit them there, here and there and whatever. And 25 $100 bills. And at the end of the year, you end up with a little less than $5,000. It's like 4000 and some odd dollars. But that is my goal for this year. That's my savings goal. That's my savings plan. And like I said, if you 
um, if you um, want to do it, you don't have to start there. If you want to start out with the one by six, save one dollar first. Then say the five. Then say the ten. If you do two, do what you can do. You know, that's just what I'm, that's what I'm stretching myself now. If I make it or not, I don't know. Because I haven't been driving for Lyft and Uber. But when I come back off my vacation, I'm going to be in hustle hard mode. Because I really want to finish before the year end. And I know I plan on working Memphis in May, but I'm going to try to pick up and, and work and hustle while I can to make the money so I can get this savings done. And if I finish mine early, my plan is just to start it back over. That's my plan anyway. So like I'm saying, uh, you can do the 52-week challenge again. There's so many out there. It's out there on, on Pinterest, but just do something. You know, if it's a dollar a month, you know, at the end of the year, you'll have 12 dollars saved. And if you previously had zero, $12 is better than zero. And guess what? It can buy some stuff at the grocery store should you need it. It can put gas in your car. I'm making it simplistic, but that's all I'm saying. Just make sure that, you know, each year you try to do something to save towards your goals of having, you know, a little nest egg should something take place. Because right now, I got to thinking I don't have anywhere near what I should But you know how that go. We'll figure it out. So, is anybody watching Celebrity? Bro, I need to go and look. My coworker stopped by my desk to tell me some of the people. I couldn't figure out how they were stars, to be honest with you. The two, the couple. Well, one he told me, I didn't know who him because I don't watch football, see. He was telling me about some dude that was going to be on there. He used to play football, but he quit football to smoke with dope. Just get high to smoke weed or something. I'm like, she said, don't you know who that is? I'm like, uh-uh. I guess that was his number one goal in life. Get his high on. I don't know. But anyway. Oh, those peppers are real good. Oh, you know, they're sweet. That was the last ones I had. Up in the freezer. Of the three pepper blend. I need to get some more. Those are the frozen blend. You know, we don't have time, time to cut stuff up. They really do come in handy. Sometimes. Oh, y'all hit the spot. I was so hungry. When I got tickle cup, my coworker came down there. And I said, well, I'm going to leave. I was getting ready to go. She came down there and politely said, <laughs> well, I got tickle. She said, you ain't leaving just yet because I'm going to talk to you. Y'all had one coworker over the day came over. She just broke down in tears and cried and cried and cried. Then she apologized for crying. I told her, she let me know an explanation. I just hugged her. You know, it was something personal. It wasn't anything on the job. You know, and there's nothing wrong with grieving somebody. I won't say the circumstance, but her ex aunt, uh, fiance died. And they ended not on the best of terms. It was no closure for her. And she said, you know, I realize that, you know, now there's no... She said, I always thought he would come back to me. It's no closure for her. And I said, honey, it's all right to cry. You know, it's all right to cry. And it's all right even if somebody hurts you. If you ever once loved somebody, it's not to say you still don't love them. Just because you have a fallen out on, 
not together, you still can feel something and be hurt. You know, that something you don't want to see anything bad happen to him, you know. He wasn't but 51 years old. So, y'all, cherish those you love. Cherish every day you have here. And this was real quick. For y'all, I was hungry. And I found something quick, fast, and in a hurry. I hope y'all are having a good meal. A good Wednesday night. Because it's hump day. I saw that commercial. I used to love that commercial. The guy called commercial. And I happened to see it on the internet. I guess they got this guy called promotional where they're playing all the old guy called commercials. And you can win a chance to be in the commercials or whatever. But I thought that was the cutest commercial back in the day. It's hump day. Guess what day it is? It's hump day. <laughs> y'all, I'm so silly. Anyway, y'all have a great night. Know that I love you, but God loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Love you much. Have a good night. Bye.